On Saturday afternoon, July 24th, several of us had ducked inside to take a break from the heat. We were talking shop on video editing software methods tips when all of a sudden, outside, there arose such a clatter, we all jumped up to see what was That's the matter. Cool. This is our where were you moment when Dan Greider crashed an airplane at his own fly-in. Here he is giving his first interview with Blanco Lirio. And the owner agreed, or the owner wanted you to go fly in Cessna 150. Yeah, so we just struck up a conversation and he wanted to show me his 150 to go fly. So before you went and uh, flying, the uh, the first thing you have to do is start this thing, right? Uh, prop start. We, we tried to start it, the battery is not strong enough to turn it over, so he just hit it one blade, pan prop is going to start right up. But then everything after that was totally normal, which I've had this pan prop a lot of myself too, but it's got an alternator system in it. The circuit breakers are good, the radios are good, the flaps work good during pre-flight takeoff, we cycle the flaps, and then the flaps work perfect on the approach. They went 10, 20, 30, and 40 in increments. Flap indicator works, everything else works. So so you did one takeoff, come around, and come back in for the... Uh, so then you wanted to do this low approach to the Stoll runway with the Cessna 150, but you didn't want to land there. So you did the approach with the intention of doing a go -around. The first one I wanted to just do a go-around, because it's got wheel pants on it. I just want... I had never seen our... The runway rebuilt, I had never seen it before. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to go look at the thing and see what it looked like on the approach. And this Stoll runway doesn't line up with any of the runways here at no, the airport. Well, it's parallel to 725. It's, it's parallel no, to the Okay, other. but it's pretty far down the runway. So by the time you start this go around, uh, and then what happens? The flaps do not come up. You're stuck with 40 flaps. So we're sitting here watching Dan come sailing past the uh, crowd here at about 100 feet above the ground with full flaps, full power, and a Cessna 150 that ain't going nowhere. It looked like you got, what, 100 feet? You kind of stayed at 100 feet. Yeah. You can't go around in a, a 150 with full flat. Uh, so what were you looking at there? Well, obviously, some kind of a turn is going to be... I mean, I mean, chop the throttle and land clear prior to the highway with the trees that? more. I had enough energy, and I was flying the plane. I don't know if I'm filling nice, up to it. I've got to fly my little store thing here in a little bit. Because you were looking yeah. at trees, we're so you made, the seven, left, you made the bid for the left, and that's what we saw. Here in the morning? And that's what we witnessed from here was a left turn to a uh, crosswind heading, still not gaining altitude, still not raising flaps, and uh, that got all of our attention. Then we saw you turn to the left downwind, flaps were still full down, not gaining altitude, not gaining any energy, but you were lined up at that point with the corn. I lined up with the rows. <laughs> with the rose of corn, and then we saw Dan just gently settle into the rose of corn. It's a tough, tough row to hoe. And <laughs> up, ass over tea kettle, we saw the Cessna 150 flip right over, and right away I knew that you were fine because it was in a soft bed of yeah, corn. Yeah, yeah, like we hit really slow in the corner, and it was just like a slow mo over. We had shoulder harnesses on, so it, it wasn't that big of a deal. But the shocking thing is, putting those flaps up and nothing happened. That's my aha moment. Like, what? I mean, you count on flaps to work, and when I hit the flap panel and they did nothing, I was like, uh... Oh. This is a 1966 Cessna 150 swept tail rear window with electric flaps, and, um... Again, if you try to go around with full flaps, it ain't gonna go around. Yeah. Especially at this temperature, we're yeah. at a low elevation, 600 or so feet, but it's a 90 plus degrees in humidity, yeah. two people on board, and probably, what would you say your fuel status was? Uh, Probably close to close to close to yeah, yeah. Wow. Glad everyone was okay, first and foremost. Sounds like Dan did everything by the book when low and slow to avoid the stall spin, so kudos to him and best possible outcome. Hopefully the Cessna can be repaired. Well, that's a wrap on ACCA 2021. It was an honor for our little fledgling YouTube channel to be invited. Um, honestly, my goal for the weekend was just to get out, meet fellow YouTubers, learn from them how they grow their channels and i did that so thanks to everyone at whiteside county airport for an amazing weekend well done we were kept well fed well hydrated we stayed cool thank you so much hope to be back next year you know and, and for me some of the best times are off camera and that's when people were just talking and bonding over this thing that we love to do flying airplanes and it was great to meet all these people hear their backstories um, their best and worst days of flying, what did you learn from that? And that, that, that to me was the story of the weekend, the, the human connection, we won't find that on camera. So um, thanks to the Misty Blues, Dean, Gumby, Marvin, and all the Full Throttle guys 
RT with the Swamp Fox P51, Josh Blair, the Fire Pilot, Flying Dirty, Wolf Pilot, all you guys. Um, thanks for taking the time and really enjoyed meeting you and happy to call you friends now. So we'll see you next year. That's all for now from At Six Zero Alpha. Thanks for watching. See you next time.